Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Tonight's show is brought to you by ExpressVPN.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Protect yourself more than ever at expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah! Welcome to Fake News. We're here to give you all the positivity today. We know that journalism is going down the toilet when you have this man as a journalist. Who is this asshole, Jared Taylor? You know, (laughs) at times he's been called, you know, streetcar Tim Tim. Mm -hmm. The the Sultan of Slam. He's He's been called, you know, he's been called, you know, Salsa Salsa Sammy. He's been called Big Brot Benny. Old Dirt Bike Danny. <laughs> Old Dirt Bike Danny. Oh, it looks like, but, it looks like know, Street Bike Tommy from Nitro he's Circus. Nice. Other than the most viral video of the year 2005. <laughs> is that the one where you drove? Is that the one where you drove? Yes, true. Is that you drove like your grandma's car into a fucking tree or some shit? Yeah, well, that was actually my everyday driver. It might have looked like my grandma's car, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like. I used to like those jalopies, man. I, I was a big fan. My everyday driver. I love it. I love yeah. it. Uh, well, kids, there's a virus going around. You may or may not heard of. I've been exposed to a number of viruses. Yeah, life. exactly. Yeah, right. uh, first and foremost, uh, we're talking about the <laughs> coronavirus today. Big shock. Yes, Nobody's talking about it. Some idiot in Texas made a post saying he had corona and that medical professionals told him it was airborne now. He was arrested for essentially inciting panic. Uh, then down in Florida... Uh, that is a felony, by the way. It Inciting is. a riot is a class three felony. It's like yelling fire um, in a crowded movie theater or well, food and, and, in a crowded room over at Jared's house. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't do that. Um, It'll get you hurt. This is a big thing about, uh, you know, all week we've been trying to combat against misinformation. So at the beginning of the week, while I was still at Dan's on Monday and Tuesday, uh, text screenshots, there were two of them that went viral and garnered almost 12 million uh, shares combined. Mm-hmm. Uh, one was uh, someone saying, hey, my buddy works for the FBI, and they were all just called in and said, expect a nationwide you know, enforced quarantine by Friday. Like, And that went viral. And another one said, I have friends that in D.C. things are about to go down. That went viral. So it's like, People are creating like 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 scripted panic. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're they're getting a kick out of like, oh, I can pretend like I got inside information. Everyone and their mother will share this because people don't bother I, checking anything. I think we these should days. we should go door to door with cotton swabs, just like but like make it look clearly unrealistic. Uh, we're wearing uh, stupid clothes, and we just like sure. I need to swab the inside of it, use a Q-tip, mm-hmm. and then put it like next to your phone or some shit. Yeah, and then be like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine it showing says up here in a radiation you're gay. shoot? <laughs> like, oh, God, sorry, <laughs> dude. You're you're in a full radiation suit, and you're going around your neighborhood just knocking on doors, like like like, and then you you make them breathe into like a box, and then you just give them a thumbs up and walk away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're clear. <laughs> I will say this though, Jared, you were in a hurry to get out of here. You got so I think you believed in the hype. You raced out of Not, here on a flight and then I got Yeah, well, cl- guess what? What's Delta that? started canceling flights last night. Yeah. And it's spreading fast right now. So American is pretty much next and then after that No, American's Southwest. already American's already canceled a lot of theirs and 75% okay. of international flights by all airlines have already been canceled. Yeah. So I'm, like I went on Southwest today, every one-way ticket was $49. Dude. So you know that's about to go down. I mean, well, it always my is flight, $49 on Southwest, you know. <laughs> as I left Wilmington, had two people in first class and maybe eight in the entire flight. And that was Tuesday. Well, that's I flew good. first class for 140 mm. bucks. <laughs> ah, did you really? From Baltimore. Look yeah. at that. I moved, I moved up my flights because I also thought that um, the planes were going to be canceled. So yeah. And there's supposed to be a big announcement this evening, right? Uh, look, that's, that's what I've heard. He's, Trump's been going live every day at 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, a.m. A.m. Eastern. Yeah, yeah. And uh, kind of updating the, the gen pop here on what's going on. Today's was awesome. 
uh, when he fired back. Uh, China. Why are you calling the, China, the virus China. a racist name by saying it's a China. Chinese it's, virus? It's from China. China. It came from China. 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 To, to Congress. Uh, did you guys see my my tweet at 530 this morning? No. No, I wasn't even close to being up or thinking about being up at that point. <laughs> no, I didn't wake up oh, until you noon. Know. So. You know, uh, I, I, said that, I said that today. I said, um, you know... 2020 stay woke when <laughs> when we are so so woke <laughs> that that holding holding oh i think i got i think i got zucked oh they deleted my, from you my tweet is gone no way what what, what was it oh, read aloud okay well, i'll you have to go to instagram because yeah. i i have it on instagram but uh i said 2020, when progressive Americans are so woke that condemning a country for fucking the entire world over is racist. <laughs> ah, really? Yeah, look, it is, man. And I think we're in that stage now. China. Of, we're in the, the kind of the disbelief China. stage right now. Give it about one or two more weeks and everybody's going to be saying well, fuck China. Well, now two China. congressmen have tested positive. Yeah. A second one oh, today. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, everybody has. Kevin and they Durant's. were all together. One from Florida and one from Utah, so they're probably going back to their districts and spreading their pestilence. Goddamn right. Um, I'm actually, guess who I'm held the primaries, though, this the week numbers, though. and not gave a shit was the, the Democrats. Hey! Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing says stay inside your house and keep your social distancing like voting for one of two people who are going to lose to Trump in November anyways. What the I, fuck was here's, that about? Here's what I'm wondering right now. What's an acceptable loss of people to stop this economic downturn? Everyone who's a member of TikTok. No? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> I just wonder how I many, how, how many, like, with that. <laughs> how many elderly people are we willing to allow to die to keep the to keep ourselves out of a depression because we're heading towards a depression right now. I mean, the government's going to stop it. It will be a mild recession, which means it'll probably last 18 to 24 months, but that still sucks. So what is an acceptable loss of life to prevent that from happening is my question. I mean, is that number? I mean, I know the military, Dan, Dan and I are very familiar with the military's numbers. You know, the 82nd airborne is, is what Dan 13% is acceptable loss. Just on, on, a, on just on operation. Yeah, just on the jump though. Not in like 13% yeah, yeah. casualty rate on the jump before combat. <laughs> no even starts. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, That's what they expect with just the jump, just yeah. the jump. Yeah. The other thing I wonder is if, if so imagine getting on the plane with those odds, Ross, you have a parachute on mm -hmm. with your rifle and your ruck yeah. and they go, Hey, 13% of you are going to get fucked up. And no you're not wearing way, a reserve dude. parachute because you're jumping so low that you don't have time to yeah. activate it. You only Oof. have one shot. Yeah. Yeah. You jump in static? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Is that static line? Yeah, it is. Yep. It's, oh, it, it's, it's like that line in, what is it, Days and Confused? 40 of you are going on a mission. 25 of you ain't coming home alive. <laughs> yeah. you, know what, you know what's funny is I've, I've seen so much banter in the last 48 hours that is so classic. It's, and it's so true. It's like somebody, somebody tweeted something out that's like, millennials, for the first time in your life, you're, you're realizing what it's like to have your plans ruined for you and being told what you have to do. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, you know what's weird? So after that story broke about the kids partying on spring break yesterday in Miami Beach, um, it's about 80 degrees here in Wilmington today, right? And, and obviously, we live at the beach. I thought I'd just take a jump down there at lunch after the first show and just see if anybody was outraging. It was fucking packed. No lie, there was probably a 1,000 people on the beach. We put it on our, our Drinking Bros uh, Instagram story. There's probably... It looks like close to a thousand, maybe more people on the beach raging. Somebody gave me a fucking Red's Wicked Apple Ale. Like, oh just God. another bro, dude. I pounded down with him and popped that up <laughs> on my IG as well. And there was a brief moment in the 27 minutes I had on my timer before I had to go back for the next show where I just said to myself, eh, really don't give a fuck anymore. You know? If I get it, I get it. So, we'll see. I well. I think yeah, that it's what the fuck is this? <laughs> nah, it's technology, my man. It's technology, uh, my man. I, I think yeah. when are people done with it, Jared? Is my question to you. Well, the thing is, is the only way you can get people to take it seriously is you just start putting a pile of bodies at the end of every neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to take. But it's the flu, man. It's not going. You're not going to get piles yeah, but of bodies. Here's the thing. This is a test. What if it wasn't just a flu? People still partying at the beach. It's like you, you're fucking everybody. Yeah. You're yeah. fucking everybody. Here's Maybe. what I think. Here's what I think we should do. Maybe. If, if 
for the most part, people who are uh, healthy and not elderly are and have strong immune systems are not going to get terribly affected by this, right? So why don't we take all of those people, give them the virus, quarantine them for 10 days, and then that's it. Like that whole, the 80% of the community that isn't really susceptible to it now has herd immunity. And herd immunity starts, at I think, at an, in the high 60%. Range. Well, I had I had one of my buddies that's a, a surgeon here at, at, at Womack. Um, there, no, Womack's not here. Brooks. Sorry. Brooks, Army Medical Center. He was over last night. His uh, wife is an ER uh, surgical nurse. They have one confirmed uh, patient currently with the virus. They're not in good shape at all, and they're in the lower 40s. Mm-hmm. He said there's also a couple of people that have been hospitalized there in their mid to late 30s that are that are they're dwindling quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and then, you know, he was kind of discussing like how a lot of these things were going down and how fucked up it is, you know, some hospitals are waiting four to five days to even report that they have a, a positive case. Well, the CDC is also backed up, so they can't even register these <laughs> cases and print them. Jesus, Tommy, you cough in the My middle bad. of that, you fuck. Get him out My of bad. there. Get him out I'm of sorry, there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was, I, I, no, he's been every, eating sunflower seeds and, and chugging white claws. Every oh, time someone coughs now, brother, they're going to get fucking murked. Uh, um, no, but uh, the CDC can't process this paperwork fast enough, so you don't know that the actual numbers per state right now. And they're way behind. Well, here's what we do know. So far, the up-to-date numbers are 11,400 uh, 11, or so cases, 161 deaths. It's about a 1.4% mortality rate. I feel like those numbers aren't high, though. They're not. Those are, no. those are just like, this is entry-level shit, and it's just about to get to like way worse. Well, I mean, consider the amount of cases that aren't being reported. Like right. all, all of us from the beginning of January when this st- stuff first started popping up, to now, till before this pandemic started, that already processed all this shit, and people who have it now and don't even know it, etc. Like I think it's a pretty, a relatively. Let's low talk term. about the real <laughs> issue here at hand. Sure, and that is the 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 premier of China could get on a stage, belly laugh, and say we did this on purpose, and people over here on the left would still, <laughs> yeah, still. still be anti anybody that that nails China to the wall for this. Oh well, because yeah. it, it would be racist. I mean, look, I, <laughs> I said yes. I'm I'm done caring about all of it. Like I'm past that point. Four days is pretty much my breaking point of all China. this shit. Well, I went to the magazine? beach today. I drank a beer from yeah. a stranger, and then on the other show, I said someone <laughs> pee pee in my coke. Um, so we're done with the Chinese shit too. Like it's people a Chinese magazine, virus. Uh, people magazine made an article uh this it was last night that said uh you know rise of violence against asians oh get fucked you and i you you and i went to an asian restaurant on fucking monday i had i had egg rolls last night (laughs) and i looked like i'm in a militia for christ's sake is there they're so full of shit and and because we are a headline culture i had a ton of my washington friends that are all fucking dum-dums that got on there and were like, see what the president has done? He's he's has people committing violence against Asians. Listen, nobody over here is like attacking an Asian because China fucked us. Yeah. There's no <laughs> group violence against Asians. And if they are, they're fucking like, stupid. Man. And people, they were gonna do something dumb anyway. So full of shit. Yeah, people can suck my dick. The yeah. magazine and generally speaking. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, next up, we got uh, the Democratic primaries, which is the top yeah, of my so list of concerns. Out, huh? it, that, that's the great question. It, is Bernie done? Look, he's getting fucking absolutely house now. We had Super Tuesday 3. Um, thank God Ohio had the common sense to cancel that shit. Um, that was the only state that did. Everybody else is like, no, nah, I think you're safe. Let's, let's close all bars and restaurants, but go out and vote for one of two 78-year-olds. To become the, the next uh, Democratic nominee to get trounced by Trump. Look, Bernie's got the most money in this whole fucking uh, diddly do we call the primaries here. Um, him and Trump, right? Wouldn't it be smart to get out of the race if you were Bernie and give all this money to the people who are going to be out of work because of the virus and actually yeah. do what you said you were going to do if you were president? What the fuck is he going to do with all this money? No, oh God! The, again, it's just a—it's a way. Put it in a pile and set it on fire. At this point, 
Well, it's, I mean, if you practice what you warm preach, the earth up a little bit more, I guess. Yeah. But if you practice what you <laughs> preach, when you go out there and say, hey, guys, I'm going to drop out of this race. I can't catch up to Biden anymore. And I'm going to give all of this money away to the people that actually need it. That would be the most presidential thing that he could possibly fucking do at this yeah, point. And he would, but he won't. And he would back up everything that he said. But yeah. he's not going to. This is not what it's about. Bernie is a hard on to, to, to have the presidency for whatever it is. It's an ego thing. Like he, I mean, Jesus. Do you think he gets is, erections at this point in his life? Uh, uh, no, 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 I don't, I don't know, but I, I will, I, I'm sure he had his balls deflated years ago. I want to see yeah. it. I want to see his dick and balls. I want to see Bernie's like. dick and balls. Yeah. Um, or I want to see what do you him think his search, give him away. Like. You know, I want to see him like, give him away to a younger, to a millennial. What porn does Bernie Sanders watch? Well, he's an old Jewish man. He's non but he's still an old Jewish man. He probably likes Asians, right? That's kind of their thing. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Like Maury Povich. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, um, didn't, didn't, wasn't there a, a, a breaking thing this morning that said three women have come forward about Biden? Oh, who knows? Well, yeah, from behind, surprise. it was yeah. hard yeah. sniffs. It was really hard sniffs. I heard he's growing a mustache so he can smell hair all the time. Yeah, oh. he is. He is. Oh. I got to Hey, Jared, with the coronavirus, dude, we, I've gone through the end of entertainment now, which is why we're going live every day on Drinking Bros Podcast. Um, I watched the fucking Hillary doc on, on Hulu last night. Surprisingly yeah. enough, it had footage of her from the uh, the last election where she was going up against Bernie in the primaries, and it got really fucking nasty. And on camera, she just goes, Bernie is the worst fucking guy on the planet. He's a career politician. He's been in there for 41 years, and he hasn't done shit. Hasn't passed anything. <laughs> doesn't believe in any of the things that he's saying. He only knows that's what's going to get him reelected. So he's been doing it for 41 fucking years. She went ham on that. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's I, it was I really surprising to hear. The only time I would be like, yay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but the rest of it, she's such a stone cold bitch in this thing. She's exactly what, what you think she is. And yeah, she's had people killed. Watch her walk around in this documentary on Hulu if you get a, a shot at it. They try to paint her like a hero, and it's all one-sided, like she was the fucking victim <laughs> in all this shit. But she looks like a, a little white, blonde Kim Jong-un walking around in pantsuits <laughs> all throughout this doc. It'll alter your mind, dude, on Hulu. Kim I would Jong-un. love to fucking see her in that haircut, though. Oh, oh, dude. Yeah, that would be great. Here, here's the funny thing. In all of the shots, they show her getting ready for these uh, primaries and shit. It is teams of people working on that hair over and over again. Take a drink. If you're at home and you're bored of shit, go to Hulu. Take a drink every time somebody fixes her hair in this fucking documentary. I don't know why oh, she God. just doesn't wear. I don't know why she doesn't wear a sombrero to reach out to the Latino community. <laughs> <laughs> that way she doesn't have to fix her hair. I'm so glad you asked this question. <laughs> you know what they showed on this fucking thing was footage of her at midnight. She went to all the hotels underground. The people who wash all the sheets and all the towels oh, and God. shit. All the Latinos and shook their hand and she said, I, "These are the real people right here." Like it's oh. so. Oh, fucking yeah. phony man it will blow your mind and like i'm addicted i can't stop watching this goddamn thing i can't oh dear I how long is it um it, there's, i'm on there's like 10 yeah, episodes of it that are like an hour to 45 yeah. minutes a piece and they've mm. even got bill on there so bill's in it and they were like hey so when you got that blow job what were you thinking and he was like uh well <laughs> oh, I, I had to i had to relieve uh some stress the job was really stressful that's what he said the documentary oh, <laughs> that's amazing that's actually a good I mean, answer that's though. true yeah. that's true. <laughs> true who doesn't want to relieve some stress yeah. speaking All over of an uh, intern's face spe <laughs> speaking of uh pre we get some semi-breaking news today mm. tulsi gabbard officially dropped out and endorsed joe biden which means she is almost definitely going to be your vp candidate Yeesh. i don't know I, i'm not so sure that she the re like the I, only I reason Kobe. she would have endorsed biden is because he promised her something and i don't think she would have taken anything under vp frankly i don't i don't see it like what about secretary of defense <laughs> no she doesn't know Ooh, that would be dope. yeah you never Why? know Why you never know she? Like, I mean, she's in she's in the military, but think about any I'm working my way up. You know, <laughs> I'm an attache now, but what I you know, in two years, you know, I'm going to have a better position. Two years will be there. I think it's going to be Klobuchar. Why, though? She doesn't deliver anything that he's not getting already. She was the highest mm -hmm. one out of all of the women um, that fits it. And then because he, he said he wanted to nominate a black uh, female Supreme Court justice. And I think that's going to be Kamala Harris. 
Uh, maybe yeah. these are all predictions, by the yeah, way. But I he, don't know. I mean, that's Kamala not... Harris is a horrible <laughs> fucking person. Yes. Yeah, she's the worst. Yeah, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go uh, with Chloe uh, on this one. I, for, I think for VP. I think VP is either gonna be uh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard or Michelle Obama. I don't think he can win with anybody else, and I think she they won't. know that. So they, they they said that she definitely will not do it. She yeah. hates the White House. She's all done there. Everyone always says that until it's time. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think you need a gap. And again, <laughs> having watched this Hillary thing, she needed a gap of time to, to, to regroup. And uh, yeah, I could see her making a run at maybe president in 2024, but not. I don't think she'll be under anybody else other than... Barack. Hi-yo. 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 I don't know. If she, gonna... she seems like a top to me. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. She's tall. Look, if you're going to sleep with the president, you might as well do it on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. They're slashing prices on, on ghost bed. 20% off everything the, in the entire store. The mattresses, the presidential mattresses, do you think they have them stored somewhere and they're all ghost beds? Yes. So the, the one that, that Lincoln died on it at Ford's Theater is still there, and you get to see it, and the pillow is preserved. So if you go oh, across the street... The, the original s- ghost beds. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you can see the blood on the pillow, Zing. and they've got a plastic case over it, dude, at Ford's Theater. Yeah, there's wow, a little bit of brain wow. matter on there. Yeah, big fan of it. But, I mean, look, that blood ghost? means that we can clone him. Exactly. We can clone ghost him. Ghost beds, yeah, he's right. We Bring can back DNA. Honest Abe. And we'll freeze, freeze somebody else this Yeah, time. get him back ghost in Ghost beds hold on to blood for a while. A long time, unless you get the protective cover, which I highly, yeah. highly recommend in the time of a coronavirus. I mean, if you or your frozen. partner dies in that bed, you still want to keep the mattress. Just put a cover on it. That way you can throw it out the window and start your life all over you again. You know that song, Black and Yellow? I wrote a song called Blood and Semen. Mm. That was a spoof of that. And it's about my bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's about my bedroom. But blood and semen, blood and semen. on the site, ghostbed.com. So make sure you click on all of the buttons until you find that song. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go there. If you're uh, trying to get them deals, like the 50% off the adjustable base, just know this. It is good with the 36-month pay-as-you-go program. No interest at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, a mom and daughter uh, sold body parts. Uh, for from a funeral home without family's consents, Colorado cops say. Megan Hess, 43, and her mother, Shirley Coke, 66, were the owners of Sunset Mesa Funeral and have apparently been selling body parts instead of cremating all the remains. That's just good business in my An opinion. An arm here, a leg there, yeah. maybe maybe a wing. Yeah. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? I like, don't know what the problem the, is. I mean, look. This is like Outrage Olympics. Who cares? Yeah. Well, there. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's illegal because they were shipping. Like, you can do this. You can, like, funeral homes very often have contracts with research facilities and universities and all kinds of other stuff where they ship cadavers out and body parts and yeah, organs yeah. and all sorts of yeah. stuff. But they actually got charged with uh, illegally shipping hazardous material, which means they weren't doing it on the up and up. It wasn't just the fact that they were hiding from the families, they were hiding it from the government as well. So, they where were the fuck? Femurs. Yes, yeah. where the fuck were these goddamn body parts going exactly? That's, that's what I want to know. That's funny. Some dude's making skin suits. And yeah, we're, we're like Utah. Utah. You know, Utah's a big skin Utah. suit state. Yeah, but what's the point of making the skin suit if you don't do the murder? Yeah, the, mur- the murder is yeah. the fun part. Yeah, that's true. the part where I fucking ejaculate. What's the point of the skin suit is to wear during the next murder? I think a lot of people. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> with I think you? a lot of people just want to skip that first step. You no, know, they want to get that. right to the body. No, we'll get right to the body. I mean, it's kind of like a. It, it's funny to kind of think when you when you see things like this, just to try and like put yourself in there and replay it, like at the point where either the mother or the daughter approached one or the other and said, "Hey, I have an idea." Mm-hmm. Like I want to see that conversation. Yep. Yeah, I do I too. Agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, There's this dude in Tulsa that totally wants a foot. Yeah, <laughs> man, I, I got a I got a guy in South Dakota who wants a dong. Do you think it was on Facebook? <laughs> yeah. Do you think it was on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just under body parts, <laughs> and it is not eligible for Prime, motherfucker. Yeah, right? hell oh, no. Oh, we, got, oh, we got time to pack uh, this son of a bitch. Speaking you- of real good Facebook <laughs> ads, you two, there was a doozy this morning. Mm. Somebody posted on Facebook Jobs the. Uh, the screen capture of the casting couch and it and and the guy put the ad like uh in in office interviews only blah 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 make up to a thousand dollars for one hour of your time and a woman chimes in and was like can we do phone interviews please i uh, 
I have kids and they were like, no kids. It was like, well, please consider, you know, I can multitask. <laughs> like, no all way. the comments were oh, like, man. she doesn't know. Should we tell her? No. No. <laughs> no. Let her keep going. Let her keep going her all the way up. down and then see how desperate she really is. This isn't the first time <laughs> weird shit's gone down at a fucking funeral home, though. I mean, look. Dan, are you using hand sanitizer? I on just air? like the, I like the smell. God damn it, man. Tommy's sm- coughing. He's using hand sanitizer. I was at the beach today. We're I'm all gonna die. We're going bit. to the beach tomorrow, actually. So we're gonna shoot a spring break episode tomorrow, tomorrow night. At the beach. You guys will see a very special episode, a spring break <laughs> episode. Ross now will be on the beach. We'll be trolling people walking by. Probably we may get into a fight. Who knows? Or I've got arrested. A, How or far arrested. Away South Padre. Ooh, let's Padre. I love hey, that man. attitude, Tommy. It's not. Hey, what South is it like? Padre five hours? hours? Yeah. How far is it? I think it's probably it's it's kind of far from here. Is it? You can I go to Galveston. You can go to Galveston though. It's like four hours. I away. bet you could suck a tit, dude, Galveston's in four hours. Minutes. Yeah, you could suck yeah. a tit in four hours down in Padre right yeah. now. You ever go, hey, Tommy, since it. we're on that subject, you ever go on spring break? You look like a big spring breaker, dude. Oh, dude, I love spring break. I went for like 10 years. <laughs> Goddamn yeah, right. Yeah, with she MTV. Did. <laughs> Tommy went like to MTV yeah. spring break. Oh, those were the yeah. best. Those were the oh, fucking bro. best. I, think I was we, in two of those. It was I, awesome. Yeah. Panama we, City. Yeah, I think we need to go down to Panama to the Nitro Hotel sometime it, and see, get, get weird. I, Suck a tit. We can do that, but it's it's. I feel like it wouldn't be as cool as an actual like spring break because like Nitro <laughs> is is like that resort's really cool, but it's by itself. Well, like there's nothing really yeah, else yeah. around it. Yeah, it's not I'm Club Avela. Like, yeah, I mean, it's kind yeah. of like a beach and a pool and rooms with nitro paint all over the place. I, I like variety and. Uh, Multiple targets. I like, mean, when was the last yeah. time you two were in Puerto Rico? Yeah. Because that Puerto Rico trip was fucking badass. I haven't been to Puerto Rico since 2016, I think. I and think. the and When's the the I feel like the 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 math is off there with the because when I when we walked on the beach, mm-hmm. it was like 20 women to every one dude. Where is this again? Puerto oh, Rico. Puerto Rico. Let's yeah, let's go Rico. Is that's their slogan? Yeah, that's their slogan. Come down, LG Rico. I don't think that's. You ever right. fucked a black girl, Tommy? Me? No. Yeah. Uh, and not be that I wouldn't. I just haven't had the opportunity. All right. Well, if there's any black mm-hmm. girls out there watching the show, yeah, hit up yeah. Tommy Street Bike I've Tommy. Never been an Asian. Ty Dollar Sign. I'm, if you're watching, zero Asians. I, I was married to an Asian. Oh no shit! Were you really? A long time ago. What kind yeah. of Asian was you married to? Yeah, man? exactly. Yeah. She was she she was Burmese. <laughs> oh, okay. Shit. Hermes, yeah, yeah. damn, wow. that's like Rambo country. Yeah, yeah. would you yeah. save a fucking yeah. refugee? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you did. Did you pull her off a Hawaiian no. punch raft? No. Was she out in the ocean? No. What were you doing? No, uh, she was. She was in the same state as I was. Mm. Yeah. Ah, not 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 a good story, but yeah, mental state. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't very good. Cool. Yeah. Did you uh, last yeah. question? Did you watch Rambo together? Yes or no? Uh no. Oof, no. That would have been a hard one. Who are you because rooting? like we weren't together back when when the Burma Rambo came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been yeah, weird because we both you guys would have been rooting for different sides. Uh, next yeah. up, if you're stuck at home, <laughs> uh, Postmates um, has got a sweet, <laughs> sweet deal for you. Look, man, the, the people at Postmates have been fucking awesome uh, to us. They reached out and they were like, hey, man, we realize everybody is ordering food at home. If you were, are new to Postmates, I was. My wife had it. I, I did not have it. Um, sign up for Postmates. Postmates Just get the app. Uh, you get $100 free delivery from Postmates, dude, um, with a promo code Drinking Bros. No strings attached. That's it, man. Just type in the promo code Drinking Bros. For new users, you get $100 in free delivery. The beauty of Postmates is the food is the same goddamn price. Uh, the delivery fees is where it, where it hits your wallet. Now it won't. Just uh, use the promo code Drinking Bros at Postmates. Um, and I'd it's, like to get some Postmates. It's the fucking best. Yes. What are you talking about? We just got back from the grocery store and our yeah, cart weighed those... like a fucking 220 pounds. That's our dude. It was 180 fly. earlier. Why does it keep getting bigger? It are y'all was cooking? Are y'all cooking out heavy. there? We are cooking. Oh, we bought two giant briskets. We bought two pork butts. We oh, bought yeah. probably eight racks of ribs. I brought an ribs. entire tenderloin. I am jealous, man. Forty dollars steak. I had a I had a pork butt at uh, Jared's house last week, last week, and it was delicious. But I have a feeling Tommy's a better cook. Um. Hey, trust me. Yeah. I'm well, he good. does. Hey, we set up his station today. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I'm, I'm, we set up his whole station. Yeah. Oh, dude. Like, hey, we got the shoot, whole back shoot some video. Up. Yeah. Shoot some video. Let's put we're it up on Drinking Bros. IG. Yeah. We're gonna be doing a cooking show. Yeah. Drinking Bros. Foodies. Yes. We start tonight with Tommy's yeah. special cheeseburgers. Yeah. Hell we're yeah, dude. Use old meat. 
I'm and down. I can't awesome. wait. I can't wait. So, hey, let's put that up on uh, DBIG and, uh, and the, and the, the YouTube it. page. IGTV and the YouTube. So Hells yes, dude. I'm in. Uh, next up. Yeah, we get a, a 5.7 earthquake uh, that rocks Salt Lake City this week. Yeah. Um, I call, You know, it's funny. So I was up, and I texted <laughs> Evan, uh, who was up there. As he's, soon as, he's still in critical conditions. We don't know if he's going to make it. Well, yeah. Last I, time I, he got, I talked to him, he said he was bleeding out of his asshole and his eyes. So Yeah, he got hit by a mirror. Yeah. Too, well, mirror? <laughs> it's weird. Like it, The mirror yeah. hit him a from behind, mirror. got him right in the ass, and then wrapped around and got him in the eyes. So was, he's yeah, bleeding yeah. out of his ass and was, eyes. The whole yeah. It was one of them stretchy mirrors. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. It so was. he's been bleeding nonstop <laughs> for 24 for like hours two days. out yeah. of his fucking I've been ass out and of eyes. both of those, but not at the same time. Oh. oh. Wait, you've bled out of your eyes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <I> actually, him. <laughs> Jesus I hemorrhaged Christ. my left eye when I jumped off the cruise ship. That I oh, that's about right. Oh, I shit. I was yeah. telling somebody about that the other day. So uh, for the yeah. audience who doesn't know this story, you jumped off of a, a, like a moving cruise ship. It was, it was parked. Oh, but, it was yeah. parked. It looked moving in the video. So yeah. how, how well, many stories is that? Was, uh, I jumped off the top deck of uh, <laughs> the... Uh, it's probably like 10, I 12. Would, yeah, I would say probably 100. 110 something like that 110 God, feet damn. so that's that's, that's roughly like that. 10 stories what what yeah. happens to a human body when you do that well uh, he hit the side of the it fucking turns, boat <laughs> yeah i burned my palms off uh because i tried to push off the side to not hit the bottom of the boat and then i, I flopped that distance <laughs> oh i turned my God. purple man like for a while like my whole body purple <laughs> like a like, like, a, like a bruise yeah. yeah, no, like a like a hematomas. Did you have anything to break the surface tension of the water, or did you just like no? Plop in? I didn't think about the, anything about it like that. <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! How much pain yeah. were you in? Real talk. Uh, for probably a month, like everything really sucked, and I didn't really want to shift my hips too much because it felt like something was out. Mm. Oh god, damn it, man! Yeah, you got lucky on that. Did one. they arrest you? Uh, no, because I stuck to the story that I fell. <laughs> um, so for four hours, they tried to get get me to talk and, and say that I jumped yeah, so they could arrest me. I think the statute of limitations probably ran out on that now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, been, it's yeah, been about yeah, an hour, yeah. two hours since you did yeah. that. So, yeah, you're fine. Well, that was back in 05. Yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, yeah, Oof. you could have raped somebody and you'd be good. But have you yeah, raped anybody, Tom? <laughs> no. I have not. I have not. <laughs> I have not. Uh, no, so I, by the way, I texted Evan when this earthquake was happening. He started singing It's the End of the World and We Know It, and his wife flipped out on him. Um <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> and I go, I go, you thought you were safe up there in Salt Lake City, dude, because we had a bunch of earthquakes in L.A. when I lived there. And he goes, uh, yeah, man, we're, uh, we're packing up everybody and heading to the ranch. So he got a the, camper. He's coming down here. So yeah. Like, speaking, right, yeah. Speaking of that song, go look at uh, Kill Cliff's uh, fucking IG today because they have the – I think it's a guitarist from Mastodon singing It's the End of the World as we know it. Well – like it's, he's drinking Kill Cliff yeah. and singing that song. It's it's funny you say that. So mm-hmm. that that song by REM uh, has entered the top forty charts for the first time in because in everybody's years. buying it to make fucking TikTok. Videos. Correct. And, and you know what's oh, you know man. what's what's right at the top of the list on trending on Netflix is Outbreak. Oh god. Oh, that's a no terrible, way. Terrible. Uh, with Gwyneth Facts. Paltrow, Goopy Jeans, fucking go Twelve Monkeys, Goopy man. Jeans. Fuck that. Yeah. Oh. oh, Outbreak was a pretty good movie. Uh, 12 oh, Monkeys is way better. Yeah, you go 12 well, Monkeys 12 all day. Better, better, but come on. Best pandemic. No, I never said 12 Monkeys. I never fucking said better. 12, we're going 12 Monkeys. <laughs> 12 Monkeys, dude. Come on. I was really disappointed that I never got to meet the 12 Monkeys. You know what I mean? Because it was just a group. Mm, yes, 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 it was a group. It wasn't actually people, or it wasn't actually monkeys. Yeah. I like monkeys. I don't know what the problem is. Well, when there's twelve of them, apparently that's a problem. Speaking of monkeys, I mean, there was a heard? giant monkey fight in yeah, Thailand. I was just gonna Did say you see that yeah. that yeah. city in Thailand where those monkeys are always walking around, fucking stealing shit from people. Now there are no people, so the monkeys are just at war with each other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Why didn't they set up fucking webcams oh before they hole. walked out, man? I don't know. God, I, don't I know. mean, Damn. I wish somebody would have take would, would have walked and painted the monkeys red and blue, and so they yes. started associating each other with yep. sides. And, and then they were yeah. putting t-shirts yeah, on teams. them. 
That, yeah, that's like a, that, jerseys, like those why mesh jerseys. Why didn't Jane Goodall ever do that? That would have been a great <laughs> social experiment. Just put different colored jerseys on all the fucking uh, monkeys and see what happens. I mean, great. would you watch a 100 on 100 monkey fight in arena? I would yes. watch a five on yes. five. Yeah, any dude. amount of monkeys versus any <laughs> yeah. amount of monkeys. other monkeys. Yeah, I'd go dude. one on one, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> one word for that. China. 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 Go They're to putting China. human faces on monkeys right now. Imagine a fight between two fucking monkeys with human faces going at it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who would the human faces be? Oh, it would be Rosie O'Donnell and Mr. T. Yeah. And just <laughs> fucking go at it, dude. Boom, oh, motherfucker. Like, that's what I want to see. Just two silverback gorillas with human faces yep. that they grew in a lab. China. 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 Uh, China. <laughs> if, you're, if you're over trying to recover from getting your face ripped off and put on a monkey, drink some Kill Cliff CBD from KillCliffCBD.com. I want to go to their website now. Is it what's their Instagram that you said the video? It's on? just Kill Cliff. Is it really? Yeah. Go to KillCliffCBD.com. You get twenty five milligrams of CBD in every single can. You will not piss hot if you are a first responder or you know just a fucking regular human who's got a test at work uh, at a loser job that takes urine and decides what kind of work you are by seeing if there's drugs in it. There's nothing in this. No weed. No nothing. It's strictly CBD. You can only trust Kill Cliff. Since we have the coronavirus, they're shipping to your house for free with a promo code Drinking Bros and giving you thirty percent off a case. Ooh, it's like two fifty a can, dude. That's the best shit on the planet. I, I drink a can every single night. The grape is my favorite, dude. Uh, really calms my nerves before I uh, touch my Huang. Go to KillCliffCBD.com mm. today. Promo code Wuhan. Drinking Bros. Mm. Wuhan. Thirty percent off and uh, free shipping. I've been soaking uh, my dick in it to keep my dick calm during all this. Have you? Because the first thing, <laughs> honestly, that freaks out about me, it's not like I've got guns and training and shit. I'm fine. I can go out in the woods and live for uh, like an indefinite amount of time. But yeah. my dick gets worried, right? So I soak it in Kill Cliff every you, goddamn night. That way you don't, your, your dick never worries about Correct, it. Correct, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. I drink it. I feel like you have a better chance of getting the nutrients out of it if you soaked your balls in it. Cause I oh, feel it's like the whole package. Oh. We've been over this on the show before. Fans know I've got a little bathtub I made, and it's dick and ball shaped. <laughs> yep. And I fill it full of liquid and just fucking plop my shit in there and leave it. Oh, Dipping that yeah, dick you know I've been addicted to lately? Porn. I've been addicted to those almond palmers. What's in it's it's half uh, almond oh, milk, the, the half 50 lemonade. 50. Yeah, oh it's a god! 50. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> disgusting. Room temp Wait, what? Do you milk, though. <laughs> Repeat that one more time, Jared. Mm. Almond it's an Palmer. Almond Palmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's half no. almond milk, half lemonade. It's room temp <laughs> almond milk, though. No, nope. no ice. You gotta go warm with your uh, almond Palmers. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm on board with that for spring break, yeah. dude. I Almond stocked, I stocked Dan's house up with all the ingredients to do it because I did a shopping for him. So, mm. he's, got, it he's got enough to make about six and a half gallons of Almond Palmer. Uh, just put curdle? it in a trash can, dude. No, you want it to curdle. You want, it to get a, you want to get that room milk. You want it to be chunky, yeah. Almond milk. Yeah, yeah you oh, do. Oh, God, dude. You, you kind of, because you suck it through your teeth. You got to, when you sip. It's like uh, bubble it. It's like bubble tea. Dude, man. Yeah, you got to get it in there. You got to get that almond palmer down. You got to pull it through down. your bubble goose, dude. Nope. You got to pull it through that bubble goose. Nope. Yeah, you got you to really let it uh, sit in the esophagus for a little bit. So yeah, I like I to pour it, I like to pour it in my goose. belly button. <laughs> And go, come drink a nice, refreshing all, 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 almond palmer. Almond palmer body almond shots. Palmer. Palmer. My house tonight. Uh, oh. my, don't come to my house or you'll get it's shot. A, it's a distant cousin to the tomato palmer, which is, you know, tomato tomato juice and, and lemonade. That's Absolutely. Does Kill Cliff make a flavor of, of lemon that you no, can substitute don't. to get your CBD? No. Kill, Kill well, Cliff needs a milk-flavored drink. Oh, they make a mango. You might can, uh, yeah. A you, could use a, you could switch it up. <laughs> milk CBD? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, Coming yeah. straight milk out of a CBD. Cambodian tit right into your milk. mouth. <laughs> Cambodian breast milk. You yeah. make my day. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's P. Diddy right there, my man. Next up, <laughs> CNN is the biggest piece of shit news agency in the history of the, of the world. I'm going to go ahead and say world. These actuals, uh, these, these fucking assholes actually had the audacity to write an article suggesting right-leaning news organizations and personalities are spreading misinformation about the virus. Um, I, now, I read this, this article. Yeah, it's, it's so stupid. The other weird thing <laughs> about CNN last night, because I was up late and I was kind of leafing through everything, Right around 11.45, they had an article that said that um, all of the, the cases in Wuhan um, are down to zero as far as, as new coronavirus cases. 
the only cases that are new in the, the country of China are 34 out of Beijing, and it's from people flying in from other countries with the virus. That article was gone about, I don't know, six or seven hours later. One, I wonder if it was even true in the first place, or two, was it true, and then it just didn't meet their fucking narrative I don't really know, Dan, at this point, and I don't know what's going on because there is no more entertainment. Therefore, everybody's going to the news. Yeah. Is this part of the fucking conspiracy of people just trying to get ratings anymore or do people just not know? I don't think it's conspiracy. It's just uh, journalistic in, uh, integrity that doesn't exist, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, if you, for example, if you print something that's patently false in today's media, all you do, in, in, even in back in the day when it was still print media, all you would do was print a retraction on page six or seven or eight, right? No one reads it. Technically, you did it. Mm-hmm. For a lo- if a lawsuit came out, technically you did what you were supposed to do, yeah. and nobody sees it, and they still believe the bullshit that you put out there, right? Yeah. So, well, like, I mean, you- nowadays, people aren't even reading the articles. No. They, no. they take the headlines headline. only. They don't even click on what, what it is that they see. Here's the here's the funny here's the part. So Oliver Darcy is a writer for CNN. He wrote that uh, like this is his evidence that right leaning organizations are misleading people. One Gallup found between March third and thirteenth that only forty two percent of Republicans were quote unquote very or somewhat worried about the virus compared to seventy three percent of Democrats. Now Pew Research found <laughs> no, I got it. Pew Research found that eighty three percent of Republicans who use mostly right leaning news sources believe the virus is being exaggerated now have you considered in the first case that republicans are simply prepared for this eventuality they know how to hunt and fish and take care of themselves and they have guns and they're not worried about a pandemic maybe that's how it is yeah uh the other part is um kind of hoping with regard to cnn specifically all this alarmist shit that they've been so they they printed an article that said almost oh, uh, some doctors say 150 million people could die like anybody some doctor could be one asshole right that was the bottom of his class in a school that taught doctors how to fucking like i don't know change diapers or something i don't know what the fuck he does like there's <laughs> yeah. no there's no context there it could have been anything so one small group of people speculated that, you know, worst case scenario, a lot of people could die. And they print that in giant letters on the front of their webpage. And then they're... they're 150 one, million. Yeah, they're wondering why people fucking think they're fake news. They keep proving it over and over and over again. Why yeah. nobody trusts CNN. Like, get fucked. Yeah, I man. I wish they would go under. Like, uh, that would be great. It, it, it's weird mm. that you say that because every time they're about to... Because their ratings are shit, by the way. I mean horrific shit piles of shit on halloween and a fucking brown paper bag but every time they're about to go under some fucking crazy story picks them back up again like this this pandemic thing right this the, the primaries have been a fucking snooze they have nothing to yeah. do with with all all of this shit trump has steamrolled his way and he's had great numbers if this this bullshit didn't happen with the pandemic and the numbers stayed the way they were they'd have no news stories until november to be honest with you because it's biden versus mm-hmm. trump We have nothing going on until, I guess, maybe the RNC and the DNC conventions in July, uh, June or July. But that's about it. What would they have done for the next three to four months with the lead that Biden has taken over Bernie if this pandemic didn't happen? It fucking saved their asses again, man. It does. And I mean, like that plus the fact that they're just consistently full of shit. Yeah. Like yesterday, their podcast, the CNN podcast with Sanjay Gupta and fucking Deepak Chopra talking about what to do during the pandemic you, both of those guys should jump into a vat of acid <laughs> <laughs> because they are useless as fuck <laughs> holy shit deepak chopra are you fucking kidding me that's the guy you brought on your fucking worldwide news agency to talk about how to remain calm and stuff like that this dude is oh a fucking God. idiot yeah he doesn't know anything he's like yeah quantum entanglement like that's not a fucking uh uh, uh psychological phenomenon it's physics bitch it's not the same thing. I fucking hate that guy so much. Well, I hate him. He just divorced his wife because he was uh, boning some of his patients. You know what? He, he should div- he should divorce himself from life, from well. a very tall building <laughs> or whatever means necessary. I don't know what it is. I don't know what people like him use. You never know. Successful strangle bait. Something successful. Strangle bait. Yeah. You ever strangle bait? Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, no. What is strangle bait? Like jerking off and 
Yeah, hanging Jumping yourself thing? by a doorknob. You knew exactly what it was, you yeah. piece of shit. What are you fucking what? playing coy with this What do you for? mean smoking crack? Like putting a little ball of cocaine inside of a pipe <laughs> and then lighting it on fire a, and inhaling the an smoke? He's got an action figure of himself for strangling. fuck out of here. Yeah. God okay. damn it. Yeah, you, you've roped up, haven't you? You've roped up I a mean, little bit. You've Epstein yourself and jacked off. I feel like if I can breathe, I can't even finish now. So <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> and if you could, what would be the point? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel oh, like shit. if I can breathe, I can't even finish. <laughs> I think that line's going to live in the history. <laughs> what's, what's such, such, a fucking <laughs> <laughs> such a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Something doesn't taste right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, um, next up, Californians have been calling 911 on neighbors. They hear coughing. Oh, God. Uh, I understand it. You know, every look, you coughed earlier, Tommy. I was, I, there, <laughs> there it is. is. There it is. There. That's twice, Tommy. That's um, a wet cough, though. You can hear the Yeah, is fucking, that a wet cough yeah, or a dry it's cough? Fr- it's, from the, it's from the lungs. Like, something's just stuck. I don't know. Hmm. You got tuberculosis, Weird. dude. You don't say. I think I, <clears throat> I might have been choking myself too much. Yeah, it could be it. Or hanging out with your ex-wife. Like, Where is she at? Do hey, we have hey, eyes hey, on hey. her? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. This, uh, but so California EMT crews are actually responding to this because they that's have the to. They don't have a choice. Here. Yeah, like nobody is, nobody is responding to shit. Yeah, I mean no. these, these are considered uh, priorities. They're so. not pulling people over. Like they're like fuck it. No, I, I, look, this is a um, real thing that's going on in California right now. But um, I, yeah, I had a, I had a cop over. We had a, a, another state trooper over last night hanging out with us, and he said, uh, pretty much like the domestics are about to start, like today and and tomorrow. Like, what does that mean? What, what does that mean exactly? That means everybody that's been staying at home with their kids and their wives about the fourth day is when ah, they domestic start violence. go at each other. Yes. Got it, yes. got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Catching that domestic, you know? Yeah, yeah. dude. You gotta, sometimes you got to give your lady a rap on the beak if she gets out of line, I'm, you know? Did you guys see World Star this morning? <laughs> no. What happened? There was an amazing video. Dude was Instagram live as like one of his buddies was getting yelled at because he uh, – he, he agreed with a prostitute that head would be 400 bucks, and then when she was done, he gave her a 20 and tried to kick her out of the fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's why you got to get that money up front, dog. <laughs> I'm watching You it. shook hey, on that. Yeah, she's you like, shook on you 400. shook on 400. You shook on 400. <laughs> No way. <laughs> Times dude. are tough out there, man. Yeah, you got to get that money then up you front, got the dude. Head. You got the head. Is that what she said? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. The video's great. Yeah. You got the it's head. Pretty, it's crispy clear too. Like it's not <laughs> it's, yeah. And he's this, and his buddy's Instagram live. Yeah. Oh, that's this so is all like funny. so predictable though, like this whole situation. Everybody always <laughs> does stupid shit and freaks out. And somebody's gonna somebody that could have been saved is gonna die. Yeah. Because EMTs are busy looking after somebody that just was smoking too much weed that day and had a cough. You know what I mean? Like me, for example. Yeah. Yeah. And look, we're on day four, kids. This is going to get a lot worse. Wait Way till worse. it's month four. <laughs> then yeah. shit's really going to start getting out of control. Yeah, we hit the grocery store today. It was, it yeah. was pretty empty. They were pretty much out of chicken. Yeah, ch- yeah chicken low. patties. Is, yeah, or, yeah but, those, those are going But, like, out. you know what was untouched was all the big meat that we would be buying a barbecue. Like, yeah. Tomahawk the steaks. Were por- yeah. Pork ribs were freaking, yeah. like, all untouched. The briskets Full were briskets. untouched. Yeah. Shit, dude. Uh, full ducks. We and got then, some ducks. Yeah, we bought some ducks. Cornish I'll tell you hens. what. I mean, if shit gets real tight, I've got two dogs. <laughs> You're going to cook mean, those fuckers up? No, yeah, use them as a tiny. distraction. Wait, no, I'm not no, going to eat my dogs. It sounded like you were going to put them in a no. Traeger. No, I don't How have long, any. Why, why Tommy, you're you a barbecue other expert? people's dogs first. Like, that would be funny. You just crossbow somebody's dog while they're walking it, and then Ooh. you run over Ugh. and just <laughs> you grab it. I, the word I funny, funny dog. The word funny is uh, nope. Yeah. Because not that. Tommy, let me ask you this. How, you're yeah. a barbecue expert. How long would it take to yes, put a, a dog in a Traeger? How long do you need on something it, like that? I mean, it would take zero time to put it in the Traeger. It depends <laughs> on how big the dog is <laughs> how long would it done. How long would it take to smoke smoke one of those fuckers? Um, like a 30-pounder? Uh, not very long. You're talking like three hours, four mm. hours. Okay. Because it, it, there, there once, you, once you pull all the guts out of it, there's no like large masses of meat. 
got on it. a dog. Got it, got it. So it would cook, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine, it would, uh, around the same time as a, uh, a rack of ribs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, look, for folks at home, if it gets to m- month four or five and you're down to it, uh, <clears throat> listen to Street Bike Tommy's dog yeah. barbecue Yeah, tips. that was totally his idea. By the way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I recommend going out and reading A Modest Proposal by an author named Jonathan Swift. He wrote Gulliver's Travels, um, and it's about – it was during the Great Potato mm-hmm. Famine in Ireland, and he said that every couple should have one child, mm-hmm. and then every additional child just eat them. Mm. Oh God! Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. China, it's wound woods. You know, if it's uh, if you get a girl and the next one's a girl, <laughs> yeah, they basically have, have a the they, have, they have a catapult right outside the window in your hospital room, and yeah. you just like fire it right out there, and woof, it launches them into the woods. <laughs> that's where that phrase came. <laughs> and from. And that's how Mowgli happened, by the way. Yeah. So if you're a Jungle I'm Book just, fan, oh, if you're a I'm Jungle Book saying, fan, throw your child out into the and woods we're and see what about happens. Calling this the Chinese virus. Yeah. 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 We, hey, let's just uh, Jamie. Let's name the show the Chinese virus here. Um, yeah. The Chinese virus and we don't care. China. Chinese. China. 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 Next up, From Eight Oaks China. Farm Distillery in Pennsylvania, owned and operated by an Army veteran, is helping their community in an unexpected way. Chad Butters, who spent 25 years as a pilot in the Army, is now a commercial pilot, is skipping his next few batches of bourbon and using the high-proof alcohol instead to make hand sanitizer. Which, look, we're, we're short on. Um, yep. It is out. Every single place that I've mm-hmm. been, um, they are out of hand sanitizer. The reason, I added this, the reason I added this to the news today is because there's another distillery that's doing that that we know. We will have 3,000 bottles of hand sanitizer done by the middle of next week. There we go. And by yeah. we, we're talking about Lead Slinger's Whiskey, Let's correct? Lead Slinger's! There you go. Uh, thanks, Jared. Uh, this is a great thing you guys are doing. And I tell you what, we're going to give Chad um, the drinking bro of the week. Yep. And we're going to do it early, man, because uh, we need to see more shit like this. And I know, uh, Jared, tell everybody about the audience uh, about what you're doing. Because a lot of people don't know. Some, some people just think of you as the, the Black Rifle Coffee guy. Let them know about Lead Slinger's Whiskey and what you guys are doing. Uh, the same, like what we we're just talking about. No, just in oh general. Oh, my God, Jared. I'm, I'm, just tell them just, about Let's Slingers in general. Stop sliding well, right I mean, for Tinder, you know? I am, I am, I am on, our, <laughs> our, on our articles. Wap, 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 um, wap, wap. So, I mean, Let's Slingers has actually been around since 2014. We mm-hmm. started in May. And uh, we started with a bourbon and teamed up with a, a, a really good guy named Garrett uh, out of Scissor Tail Distillery in Oklahoma City. And since then, we've, we've added rye whiskey, cinnamon whiskey, uh, rum, spiced rum, which a lot of people are a big fan of. I really enjoy it. And then this year we've uh, we've done vodka. That's great. And the vodka is great. It is. It's it's really good. I had some at your house. Uh, so let me ask you this: How are you turn you turning it into hand sanitizer? Uh, it's just it, literally that's what the discussion was like uh, that I'm going through is Garrett's explaining the process here in our in our team chat. And he was like, okay, we're, we're able to, to essentially, everything's tooled to do this. It just, he just has to change the makeup on, on how he does the, uh, how he does the distilling process. And it goes, cause I mean, hand sanitizer is a majority of alcohol. Can you drink alcohol. it? No, I don't. I mean, come on. Ah, you can, if you get desperate yeah, that's enough, not, Tommy. You can drink it. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be desperate enough. Question. I would highly yeah, recommend he, giving he it to a, a medical link to professional. The process on here. Um, but yeah. They're gonna tr- they're gonna have three thousand bottles done. He's he's ge- ge- aiming for five thousand bottles by the end of next week. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, great. man. Fuck yeah! By dude. the way, that uh, same distillery makes Dead Man Hands uh, whiskey, which is uh, our Aaron Small Hands, the porn star that we had on the show. Oh, is it really? I enjoyed that whiskey when he yeah, was on. Yeah, Garrett makes his stuff too. Uh, no shit. Yep, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Uh, next up, Chicago mayor suspends all debt collections due to coronavirus. Here's a question for the group. Do you think the mob and other organized crime are taking some time off from breaking people's kneecaps or is it business as usual? No one ever thinks about the plight of criminals in times of crisis. Yeah, I feel like there's not there. Like they don't have a union. There's no advocacy group for organized crime or just crime (laughs) in general. And I worry about as someone who commits a lot of crimes. I worry yeah. about that. Yeah, you should. Like I like you don't want your drug supply running out or whatever crime you happen to be. Like if you're into drugs. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, we want drugs. Mostly yeah. drugs yeah. is what I'm worried about. Exactly. Mostly. 
Um, I, I, I hit up my dealer just just in case and just said, hey, man, whatever you got, just go ahead and send it on down. I paid 20% well, over just I mean, for a stimulus a package. Of, yeah, you have to. Yeah. California students that, that started a petition last night to, like, halt rent and stuff like that. And it's mm-hmm. just like, I don't think people realize this is just a landslide. <laughs> well, look, like it, it, unless it, it, mortgages it, are put on pause, what it's, it sounds like that's going to happen. It does. It, so is that it's, true? Mortgages will be put on pause? Well, eviction, we, evictions, I, I've evictions and foreclosures have already been suspended. Oh, they have. Okay, yes. great. Um, yep. Yeah, because I, I, one would figure that's next, obviously. Um, and the last, but if the, you're the, getting foreclosed on, it's already like you. It was way before Corona that yep. started that ball. Yeah. True. They just don't want True. people roaming the streets like the Beverly Hillbillies with all their shit yep. in the back of a truck right now. They don't right. want they don't want yards like Sanford and Son, you know. I, 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 I like those yards. <laughs> <laughs> all your stuff is right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky had a had a pretty good setup out yeah. there, and then yep. and <laughs> every <laughs> every morning he gets out know? of his car, or every night when he pulls his car back into the parking space, he takes all of his stuff, puts it on top of the car, and it's all right there. And it's all right yeah. there. Yeah, and then and when then he needs when he to leave needs in to the morning, somewhere, yeah. he just takes a hockey stick yep. and clears it off. Yeah, good to go. It's called a clearing stick. <laughs> good to go. Yeah. Um, this yeah. will bring us to our last news story of the day uh, with with Nancy Pelosi. So. When, this one? when Trump said he was giving out, I'm adding it. Trump said he was giving oh, nice. out $2,000 to people um, during what is probably going to be a recession here. Um, and businesses are shut down. She, she was holding up the bill because she said she wanted a means test. Did you hear about this, Dan? Um, no. So you, she wanted to weigh <laughs> the money and and not give it to rich people. So if you were rich, then you wouldn't get your $2000. But if you were poor, you would potentially get more money. That would have taken fuck how long, Dan, to to figure out the numbers on every single person in the I United thought, States. I thought didn't they set it some would probably I, cost more money yeah, to do that. It always does. Than, it always does. Right? Like you'd have to have an entire <clears throat> like system in place like like every time I drive by the IRS building, I live in Maryland. So like I drive past the IRS building and I see how expensive that building is. And I'm like, how much does it cost to facilitate all those people to pick up all that money? You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. Because there was a trend on Twitter last night. that was uh, the people versus Pelosi. That was trending number one. And this is where this story broke. And a lot of people on Twitter had said, look, man, rich people are going to be out of money, too, because of what's happening. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, there was a lot of comments under that of like, well, how they're, they're fucking rich because 80% of Americans don't have any savings whatsoever. They're just living and just fucking living their lives and not saving anything. So, you know, I look, I've talked to some friends in LA who are, would seem to be well off. Right. But because they're going to be out of work for four months and they didn't save anything and they're, you know, younger, so to speak, they're not, you know, in their sixties or heading towards some form of retirement. Yeah, man, the money's going to fucking run out in three or four months for them. Well, that too, and they they spend a lot more too. Like, I mean, yeah. even just um, their mortgages so are higher. Their mortgages, their their business rents. Like, you have you have more than just your home to worry about. Like, you got if these people out here. Like, I mean, think about the restaurant industry. Like, I just shut down myself. Like, when you don't have those customers coming in, and you still have those same bills. Like, you're, you know, month to month, you know, they could have 70, 70 grand, you know, that they have to take care of and no customers. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of your restaurant, Tommy? Uh, it was uh, Looney Bin Barbecue. What do you mean was? Is, are you going to be I, I, bankrupt I shut now? down. Okay. So you're, you're no, shut I, down I, now, but are you coming back or is this going to affect you long no, term? No, no. I'm, 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 I'm done with that one. I'm going to probably do other barbecue stuff in the future. Uh, I had a bad business partner, so long story, but uh, it didn't work out for me. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, <laughs> well, this whole story, again, is why I'm concerned about drug dealers. I feel like we need to put some kind of econom- economic stimulus package together for drug dealers. I think they're going to put it on us, because let's face should it. Should we start taxing? <laughs> if you want should, drugs, should we, they're going to tax us. Should we start us. taxing cocaine? Oof. Is that the, uh, like, I don't know about cocaine. I want something that's going to get me through the boredom and cocaine. Maybe, 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 maybe this will. No, maybe like, this will be the whole coronavirus. Though could could lead to a federal lift on marijuana legalization to fucking throw the economy back into. That's exactly sleep. what I said to my <laughs> wife last night. I go, look, because weed isn't legal here in North Carolina yet, and I'm like, 
Legalize all of it. All of the drugs right now. People who yeah. do have money, that will immediately go into the system. They will run out yeah. tonight and, and, and stimulate, stimulate, <laughs> yeah, stimulate yeah. the economy. Um, stimulate. Yeah, exactly. Sean Payton has coronavirus. Does he really? The coach from, theory, from the theory. Saints, yeah. The, the New Orleans Saints, man. Yeah. Uh, people are coming up with it left and right here. So we'll see how this all shakes out. I don't know. Maybe I was a fucking idiot for going to the beach today. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, but we'll be doing a, a live show from the beach tomorrow. Jared, you guys are doing uh, Free Range American tomorrow on the feed. Tell everybody about it. Uh, yes, Free Range American launches tomorrow. Uh, it'll be available. Um, you know, you'll have it as soon as we're done here. So if you launch it ten, late tonight, correct? Like normal, normal yep. Friday shows. So if yep. you guys want to check that out, and then ten episodes will will be available. But every Friday on Drinking Bros, you will have a Free Range Friday uh, that'll alternate from guests to just what whatever it is that we're doing, updating and everything like that. It's great. Awesome. Those first those first ten guests are great. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, Tommy, thanks for coming, man. I, it's always a thanks pleasure when you're me. on the show. You're a funny fucking dude, oh, dude. Sorry about your business. I hope you get back at it. Uh, dude, it's going to be all good because I am going to get back at it. It'll be, it'll be awesome. Goddamn hey, right. Gonna, you know, we've got, we've got a weekend to do some, uh, some troubleshooting, and hopefully by next week we'll be able to go dual live pow, yeah. from Ooh, the studios. That'd be nice. These two hosts over here. Hey. That'd be nice. Not going to put any money on that. Street but it'd be nice. Timmy. Exactly. We're We're close. Close. Team We're close. Team. <laughs> Tommy, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, street underscore bike underscore Tommy Instagram. Because when I started my Instagram, there was already this kid that had street bike Tommy. And like when I confronted him about it, he changed it to official fan page of street bike Tommy. So I couldn't get it back. Oh, that but sucks, that, yeah. dude. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so the underscores are pivotal. Uh, I do have my check mark. I finally got that, too. Oh, there we go. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Still yeah. hey. Welcome, buddy. I see you. I see you. Uh, thanks for coming on for Street Bike Tommy, yeah. Jared Taylor, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. Hey. I'm Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>